what, what's the most pressing, pressing issue you hear from constituents on the campaign trail? It's, there's, it's the same thing that it was the last time. We need to stop the discharges from Lake Okeechobee. Um, and while water farming is a piece, but a piece that's like emptying a bathtub with a teaspoon, because it's, I think, a day or two worth of discharges. It, um, and we need to finish the, C, the C44 reservoir. That's really important. Septic to sewer conversion, very, very important. None of those things are going to stop the discharges from Lake Okeechobee. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. That's what I hear. I, that's what I heard when I was going door to door, because um, I did that again to qualify by petition. That's what I heard. Okay. Marilyn, most pressing issue that you're hearing? Well, uh, certainly this summer with the algae blooms and, and, and when you have all of your beaches closed on the 4th of July, uh, it's tragic. It's uh, tragic for our enjoyment and, and for the economy, for our businesses as well. So, you know, it's certainly an issue that's in the forefront that we'll continue to work on. And uh, that's why I was pleased to see that so many of these projects that we've been funding over the years are due to come online in the next several years. Now, um, you know, most of these projects that we fund and work on will, will be many other years out. This is not a simple or short-term solution, which is why I'm also looking at some shorter-term uh, fixes as well. And when you say shorter term, you're still talking about years away. Um, you know, people are still uh, concerned about the economy in different parts of this district. Uh, they want to make sure that their children have really good, solid jobs. We're not just talking about adding jobs, but having real careers and opportunity to make sure that when the kids come home from colleges and, you know, we are building world-class colleges and universities here in the state, that there are jobs and that they are in, um, they're in medicine, life sciences, aerospace, engineering. That's, that's really the focus. So this district goes from down, downtown Stewart South down to Palm Beach County, and sometimes it's kind of a split in that what's important in Jupiter and Chacosta is not always what's important um, in Stewart or um, Indian Town. The very diverse uh, region, which, which I love it, and that's why it's it's great to get all over and, f and find out. And Mary, I think you'll you'll agree with this. Knocking door to door, you really get to know the people in the district. Not just um, what you all write about the importance of that, but but what they're going through, their personal stories, and and that's one of the best parts. Okay. Yes. Can I just yeah, you know, I just nobody is going to come here. No businesses are going to come here with what's going on with our water. I just don't believe, especially green businesses, I just don't believe that's going to happen. I don't believe that we're going to have an economy unless we take care of this problem. And, I mean, we just we just lost Coastal Paddock Warning. We just lost, um, who wrote the story on the bait shop? Oh, Pink Killer. Killer. Okay. So we just had the bait shop story. And this is this is what this is what's happening. Um, I... Without, and I don't think I went on to say, without a land purchase south of Lake Okeechobee, we do not have a solution. And we have Senator Negron who agrees to that, with that now, you know, who agrees that all these other things are important, but also that we need this land purchase, we need a flow away. Nothing else is going to work. All these other things are just band-aids, and I hate to use that, but, but the silver bullet is a flow away, and that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to improve our economy. People aren't coming after the toxic algae when the chances, when there's no end in sight, and the chances for another bloom are great. 